Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of August 2021. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. We're going to get started on your reading right away. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, yeah, let's get to your reading. The usual format, you know, overall energy with the week to week. Your overall energy is the two pentacles in the upright position. Well, you could be juggling a lot this month, uh, Aries. Uh, could be for many reasons. Some of you could be juggling your finances. Others of you could be juggling a lot to do. Perhaps uh, some of you are, you know, getting your house ready, maybe to put it up for sale. Others of you uh, could be pulling double duty at work. Maybe you're doing extra work there. Others of you could be taking on a second job. Others of you could be juggling two different romantic partners. Remember, just take what resonates for you. But yeah, that's going on for you for overall energy, which is good because I do like the Two of Pentacles. That represents harmony in the midst of change. So no matter what is going on, uh, around us. We're able to handle it, able to deal with it. So in week one, Aries, we have the Page of Pentacles rooted down by the Four of Cups in the reverse. So the Page of Pentacles upright, this is um, a court card could be, you know, connected to a um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, male, male or female. It could be somebody who's younger. This could represent uh, someone who's new on the scene. And this is somebody who could be messaging you. Maybe this is um, a potential suitor. Maybe one of the two <laughs> that you're juggling. This could be somebody messaging you. Uh, for others of you, this could be representative of your child, your grandchild, or somebody perhaps who's um, contacting you maybe about practical reasons. Some could be contacting you. Maybe they need a place to stay. Maybe they, you know, need some cash or things like that or, you know, letting you know that they got a scholarship to something. But it could be messages and news coming in about that. But it could also be messages and news for some of you about, um, you know, financial matters or home matters, things like that. So you could be getting messages about perhaps a new job or, you know, your financial status, things like that. Maybe it's just in the beginning stages. And it's rooted down here with the four of cups in the reverse. That's why I think for some of you, this page of pentacles could represent a new love interest that is messaging you because the four of cups in the reverse position mostly points to, you know, something is, you know, uplifting the emotions. But see, people have uh, emotional investments in a lot of different things. Some people get their emotional fulfillment, for example, from hobbies. Others get it from their career, that kind of thing. So it could be news and information coming to you in the first week, um, Aries, about, you know, perhaps uh, your dream job or maybe a creative pursuit that you want to do. Maybe, then, you know, you're getting the heads up on that. Um, for others of you, it could be cause for celebration. The Three of Cups in the upright, which this points back to, can represent, you know, uh, celebrating something that is quite exciting. So it could be exciting news, like, again, could be exciting news about a child in the family, perhaps, as, you know, getting a scholarship or getting extra cash to be able to go to school, that kind of thing. You could be getting funded for, uh, say, for example, for a... Um, uh, 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 studies, maybe something, some type of um, course that you want to take, that kind of thing. Either way, there's a celebration or an emotional uplift connected to it. In week two, we have the Four of Wands here, beautiful, in the upright, rooted down by the Ten of Swords reversed. So it could be for some of you in week two, there is a healing uh, connected to a family matter or a home matter, perhaps because the Ten of Swords is just that sort of bottoming out of a situation where it's the final straw. We can't take this anymore. Let's, you know, cut this off. And it can be about a lot of things. Maybe some of you had issues with your home, say, for example, because this is the home card, the Four of Wands. And maybe you just like, I can't take this place anymore. There's just one thing after another, after another. I feel like <laughs> this is the money pit and I can't deal with this anymore. So it's time to let this go. 
Uh, it could be that you have a victory in that respect. Or others of you, perhaps you did do that and now you're healing from the situation. The Four of Wands in the upright is beautiful energy. This is where we have that sort of victory, that harmony, things working in our favor. Something that we've been working for for a long time. So there could be some kind of completion here, especially for those of you who have been, you know, busy juggling something. Like I said, it could be two homes, two businesses, two things like that. And there's some type of uh, victory here there's in week two we see progress because the four of wands is really progressive energy so something is progressing and perhaps you know helping to take the pressure off or, or the anxiety off about something now in week three we have the nine of pentacles here in the upright rooted down by the six of swords nine of pentacles is the strong independent person card so this is where we could be taking a step up perhaps in our finances. Maybe some of you, if you've been juggling two different jobs or taking on some kind of side hustle, it could be that you know it's bearing fruit in week three and uh, bringing in some extra cash for some of you. This could be maybe you just, you know, in the beginning of the month, the page of pentacles could be a message about a potential starting a job or something like that. And maybe now, you know, in week three, you're finally getting a paycheck and and you're feeling nice and stable and strong. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles can have a little bit of a warning and that's just that you don't, you know, come across a little bit too independent because sometimes, you know, that can stop people from trying to or wanting to assist or help. So it could push people away. Just be careful of that, especially a sign like Aries who has a tendency to be incredibly independent. So... Just be wary of that. Six of Pentacles or Six of Swords is rooting it down, indicating walk uh, like moving away from difficulties of the past can literally mean moving so maybe for some of you you were struggling before the nine of pentacles brought in some extra money and now you're moving away from the difficulties of the past that sort of had you down had you you know upset you're moving on from that emotional uh, crisis i see a lot of healing energy here and moving away from things so that's very very good um yeah, and the Six of Swords in the upright can also sometimes point to moving. That's why I said in the beginning, maybe some of you are getting your house ready and then Two of Pentacles to move, that kind of thing. It could even be your office, maybe, you know, there's some kind of change going on, but there's harmony here in the midst of change when the Two of Pentacles is your overall. So whatever it is you're dealing with this month, I think, Aries, you're going to be fine with it. The last week, we have the Page of Swords rooted down by the Knight of Cups in the upright. So these are two court cards here. Page of Swords represents um, <coughs> uh, air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Um, you know, sometimes, again, pages here could indicate uh, younger people, but they could also indicate um, someone who's just not uh, really, you know, mature with their words. I don't know how else to explain it. Sometimes the uh, page of swords could be somebody who gives very little information. You always need to back up whatever it is they're saying because sometimes they could just be blowing smoke up your you know what. Uh, for some of you that is the case. Could be your child, could be somebody you're dealing with. Uh, somebody at work, what have you. Sometimes page of swords can represent a, a stalker, somebody looking at your social media, that kind of thing. Uh, other times it's like, especially if you just applied for something, applied for a job or something, this can indicate, which is perfectly normal, somebody looking into your background, like a background check or things like that. Uh, for others of you, this could just be, you know, news and gossip gathering around the water cooler kind of thing and maybe this person is spreading some information and story just make sure you get a backup that's the thing with the page of swords you can't always just take him just straightly straight on his word it's rooted down here with the knight of cups in the upright this is more uh you know um, people energy potentially this could be someone exterior to you the knight of cups in the upright which is water energy cancer scorpio pisces sun moon arising male or female it could be that you are getting an offer maybe uh, it could be anything from a romantic offer like i said perhaps there's like a page of swords here and a page of pentacles maybe for some of you younger aries you are drug juggling too maybe an air sign and a, um, uh, an earth sign and you're kind of like trying to figure it all out but again whatever it is you're juggling or you're doing this month it looks like there's harmony there so it's not gonna be too much of a stress i don't see you dropping the ball on anything here
So again, back to the Knight of Cups here in the upright. This could be somebody who's moving towards you, could be wanting to make a romantic uh, overture towards you. He is known as the Knight in Shining Armor and uh, the romantic dreamer. This could be you. Remember, we can all, uh, energies are interchangeable. So it could be you and how you're feeling towards the end of the month, Aries. Maybe you are feeling like the romantic dreamer wanting to go out there and make offers to people. But this could definitely be an offer coming your way in week four. Perhaps somebody is offering you, like I said, your dream job. Somebody could be offering you uh, romance. Someone could be offering you um, you know, something that would make you very happy on the emotional front, whether it's like maybe a hobby or something, especially if you're in the creative field. This could be uh, someone, if you're an artist, a painter, a musician, or something like that. It could be somebody's offering you something in that field, and it would be very exciting for you. Now, as always, in closing, I will be drawing from the Zodiac deck two cards. One will be for love and romance, and the second will be for career and finance. So your first card, Aries, is Taurus. Okay, so it could be for love and romance. We do see the Page of Pentacles here. Could be that a Taurus is the love interest for some of you. For others of you, uh, it could be, you know, when the moon is in Taurus. This literally says moon in Taurus. Something uh, magical could happen in your romantic life, your love and romance. Um, when the moon is in Taurus, it could be some of you perhaps get engaged or something like that. Now, for career and finance, we'll see what sign comes up for career and finance we have moon in leo so it could be a leo perhaps is involved in your financial situation could be a business partner or somebody who offers you a job could be a new boss what have you or it could be something special happens when the moon is in leo for you guys so that is your reading um aries i really hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time. Bye-bye.